the A3SA DRM is Google Widevine based. Yeah. So all of my set-top boxes, in fact, the first set-top box that I got that was a 3.0 set-top box was the ADTH box. It was my first Android box because I'm an Apple guy. I just use Apple devices for everything. The Zenwell box that I got, also an app or uh, also a Google Android device. Yep. The problem with that is because the A3SA DRM is based on the Google Widevine encryption, um, how would, like, let's say an iPhone in the future wanted to be able to access ATSE 3.0 services, how would it even work with the A3SA DRM content security? Yeah, A3SA is talking to Apple. I mean, I think that's sort of the next step. Uh, so everybody wants everything immediately, you know, and these things, uh, they whether it's the programming or the devices, uh, if I stay on the devices for just a second, there is, as you know, a very active, engaged, uh, first mover AVS forum kind of community that wants a gateway device, that wants to spread yep. the content throughout their home. I'm going to say just the home just for now. You know, I want to have one thing in the basement that feeds 100 rooms in my house. That is actually what I do, but... Uh, Perfect. That's great. But you are a super, super, super sub minority, right? Of course. Most people are not you. Yeah. Uh, and it isn't that gateway devices aren't coming. They are coming. Uh, some people have said, well, you're using content protection because you want to drive people to subscriptions or you want to stop home recording rights, which is bogus. B O G U S. The Zapper box is the first ATSC 3.0 receiver that is security verified that is a DVR. Now, it's not a gateway device. It's not going to feed, you know, dozens of rooms in your house, but it is a step in that direction. And I think uh, you have to walk before you run. So for, for these issues of uh, the kind of device that I want to use in my house that does X, Y, and Z, those things are coming. Um, I'm an Apple person. You know, what about Apple? What about the iPhone? What about uh, the Apple TV? What about other devices like that? Also, I think those will come eventually. Uh, and, you you know, we kind of had to start somewhere. And the Google Widevine uh, method was the best method for the bigger audience, which isn't even the set-top boxes. It's the TV sets. Yeah. So the industry will sell, again, 4 million-ish TV sets and a couple hundred thousand set-top boxes this year. Eventually, that needle, the, you know, the CTA chart that you referenced from the ATSC meeting shows that in 2026, 2027, probably everything that's sold will have ATSC3. I mean, it, kind of like the iPhone and Wi-Fi. I mean, it's, you're going to need to have that when you go into a store. That'll be an expectation. Um, so, I mean, that's how I would address the uh, security question and also the device question. 